Should we get through to her? No, no! I won't accept this! I'll never accept it! How stubborn are you? Just accept it already! Shut up! Why didn't it work for Yuko? If you can convey your feelings to others, then why couldn't she? It's impossible to make anyone understand. That's nothing but a goddamn fairy tale! Me, the audience, the songs, the dances, they're all flimsy lies. None of them can mean anything! That's not true. Then why did you go to the trouble of having Konami-san's group learn the song Yuko-san wrote? Isn't it because you wanted everyone to hear her song? Because you wanted them to understand the feelings Yuko-san never got to express? Even if it's just a little bit? I... wanted them to understand? Miss Ochimizu! Miss Ochimizu! Oh, how shameful of me. You just had to stump right into my heart and show off. I had you pegged as barely capable of participating in a school performance. And yet, here you are. <laughs> cutting through to my heart. Oh, then you understand what we were trying to say. Oh, you were just crying. Come on, why'd you have to freak us out like that? Kanji, you don't talk like that to adults! She's right, Kanji. <laughs> you Come really on, gotta Archie. think before you, you open be your big mouth. About your glad you're right, She's safe. safe. Come on, you guys, relax. She's For okay moment, now, and that's all that matters. Cold sweat. How many years did I waste groveling alone and taking out my pain on all those around me? I thought if people were going to hate me, I'd give them what they wanted. I was the worst, most despicable person I could be. I even went around claiming responsibility for the lyrics Yuko changed. Miss Ochimizu. I was wrong. I need to apologize to you. And to Yuko. There's a lot we have to apologize for as well. No, you don't. You all expressed exactly how you felt. You proved to me that it's possible to convey your feelings to someone else. That alone is enough to release Yuko from her suffering. And me from mine. Mizu Chimizu! Ochi! That's no good, Miss Ochimizu. Don't tell me you've been poisoned by these children, too. You, who denied your true self for years and became the cold woman everyone wanted you to be. Poisoned? <laughs> yes, I suppose they have poisoned me. What about your deal? If you discard every bit of the you that everyone wished you to be, you'll face the same suffering again. Enough! I revoke my deal with you. I'll make no more compromises. The Kanamin Kitchen Girls, these shadows you speak of, and even you. I will save every last one of you from this place. Uh, isn't it us who will do the actual saving part? Never mind that. Be quiet or she'll hear. Oh, what a disappointment. Do whatever you want, then. It went away again. No. We won't let it escape this time. I've already made up my mind about that. For it to use Yuko's song for such vile ends. <sighs> the more I think about it, the angrier I become. Yuko's song? What is she talking about? Wait. Are you saying you hadn't noticed? <sighs> I'm appalled. And you call yourselves professionals. You couldn't even figure that out despite hearing it so often. Uh, no one said we were pros.
Whoa, another door! Wow, these things can show up anywhere. Maybe I should start calling them anywhere. Nope. It's not like the other doors we've seen. This one leads to an edit bay. An edit bay? It's something like a booth used for recording and sound editing. This one looks like the door to the room at Takara Productions. Hold on, let me check inside first. Okay, it seems safe. I'm not sensing any shadows in there. Then let's take a look inside. Follow me, everyone. 